Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship. Well, John, you've had some epic results here over the years, but actually for a first round match, that was pretty tricky because Davis has been your bogeyman for the last few years. Yeah, he has, and the uh, great player, great all-round player, as I've said before, the tournament started, he's a player that's getting better with age. Uh, so, yeah, great win for me, Re really good win. And a couple of classy clearances when he began to draw close this afternoon. Yeah, it was all at sea, at 6 three in front. I felt good yesterday, but get in, now that's what the Chris Bowl can do to you. I managed to nick a frame to go 7-5, which settled me a little bit. Uh, but if it went 6 each, I was sitting there thinking he could run away with this and beat me 10-6 the way I was feeling. But uh, no, it was good to come through and win. How would you assess your form coming here to the Crucible? Because it's been a funny old season. You know, you were absolutely despondent with your game back in December. Now you've got the table away from the house. You and McGill and Maguire seem to be getting on a little bit of a roll. Semis in India. Is it coming back? Yeah, no, the enjoyment is definitely coming back. But for the practice, that's... But yeah, I feel a hundred times better than I have in the last three or four years. As I said, just to get out of the house and uh, feel as if you're putting some hours in. Even just, I've been picking balls out for Anthony and Stephen. So, but just to get out of the house, it's it's been really good. Before we talk about the second round, everything okay with your brother? He obviously had a fall on the stairs yesterday. Yeah, no, he's fine. He's fine. He's just obviously he's fractured his kneecap, so we need to get him up the road for a for an operation. But no, he's fine. He's 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 fine. I know you mentioned you spent six or seven hours with him in the hospital yesterday. It's it's situations like that where you draw on the 25 years of Crucible experience because if that had happened to you in between sessions on a debut, you might have panicked, but you didn't let that disrupt your game coming into today. No, and I, I, even if I lost, I would never have used that as an excuse really. Now, but when you're sitting in the hospital and you see what the, the NHS nurses and things that they go through, especially on a bank holiday weekend, it's incredible, really, what they do. So, uh, no, he was well looked after yesterday with the, the, the Northern General Hospital here in Sheffield. So, uh, no, they were great with him. Well, you'll take him back up the road. You can give him the champagne you've uh, got for winning your match and come back towards the weekend. Any preference, Stuart Bingham or Graham Dot? I mean, it's a huge match either way because it's two former champions going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, whoever comes through that one. Yeah, as, in, as someone says, if anyone comes through, obviously they are two, two champions, two former champions, and we're in the quarter of the draw. Our last 16 is four former world champions. So, yeah, whoever comes through, tough game. Graham, he's got a really tough game against Stuart. He's one of the players of the year, but by all accounts, Graham played amazing at the qualifiers. So, And he always produces his best in the career. It's just, it's just tailor-made for him here, so... Uh, a bit good game to watch that. You still get the buzz 25 years on from your first appearance? Yeah, I mean, it was brilliant, the reception, especially this afternoon getting in there, obviously, a Sullivan and then the debut debutants on there, we James KL. The atmosphere in there was incredible, always is. Well, I hope your brother gets the operation and we'll see you at the weekend, whether it's Bingham or Dot. Well done, John. Cheers, Rob. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.